The insect in this problem jumps into the air at some unknown speed, moving as a projectile. Here's its initial velocity, v0. We know the direction of this velocity vector, theta0, is 58 degrees, but we don't know the magnitude of it. The initial velocity components are shown here, v0x and v0y, with their expressions. We're told that the insect's maximum height, I'll call it h, is 0.587 meters. In part a, we're asked to find the insect's takeoff speed. That's v0, the magnitude of the initial velocity. To begin, let's use the time-independent kinematic equation to find the initial y component of velocity. Choose as the final location, the point where the insect's at its maximum height. That's here, where the y component of velocity equals zero. Substitute those values to find that v naught y equals square root of 2gh. The initial y component of velocity is 3.39 meters per second. And now we can use the expression v naught y equals v naught sine theta naught to find the launch speed. That's v naught. Solve for that. and substitute values to find that the length of that initial velocity vector is 4 meters per second. In part b, we're asked to find the horizontal distance the insect covers during its jump. That's this distance, delta x, equal to v naught x multiplied by the time that it spends moving sideways, t. We don't know either the initial x component of velocity or the time t that the insect spends going sideways so we need to find both of those. We'll find them up here. v naught x equals the launch speed v naught times cosine theta naught. Substitute numbers and calculate to see that it equals 2.12 meters per second. To find the time spent moving sideways, we will label this point when the insect gets back to the ground as t sub g, the time to get to the ground. And that occurs when delta y the change in height from the initial location equals zero. The insect begins and ends on the ground. Now we can write this kinematic equation, calling the time t sub g when the displacement delta y is zero. We know that the time we're looking for is not equal to zero, so we can cancel one factor of it from this equation, rewrite, and solve for the time to reach the ground and substitute numbers and calculate to find that the insect spends 0.692 seconds moving sideways. Now we know how fast the insect moves sideways and how long it spends, so we can come down here and multiply those together to find the horizontal distance that it covers. And that works out to 1.47 meters.